Hello. <coughs> Sorry. Fresh cut. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, again, I don't know how I feel about it, but it is what it is. I, I got it kind of thin because it might be a little while before I can get another one. I just got to write something down here. Oh, no, wait, I think I already did. Okay. So it was negative three. We'll see if that holds up for this game. You never can tell. Also, I fixed the bl I fixed my blur button. And now I got a new one that can pixelate. <laughs> Does that still count as a blur? I don't know. But hey, check this out. You can collect platinum points! What do you mean? For playing the game? Oh, there's like peach avatars. Peach avatars, if you will. But anyway, back to the matter at hand. So they gave Peach her own game, uh... Ignore the other one. That one didn't happen. <laughs> Sparkle Theater, come experience dreams, mystery, and adventure with us. Well, that sounds pretty good. Was that... was that Peach? Come on. What, what, whoa, what is this voice? We're finally here, Princess Peach. Okay, let me check the volume real quick. Check, checking. Testing, testing. Check, check. Testing. I mean, it's a little... It, it's good. It's okay right now. It's a little quiet, but I don't know. I, it might get louder. We're finally here, Princess Peach. I'll go grab some tickets. It shouldn't take long. In the meantime, you check out the lobby. I'll let you know once I've got the tickets. Okay. There, there's something a little funky going on with, like, the frame rate and the resolution here. Hang on, let's... Hang on. Enhance. This is a very blurry peach. Here, hang on, hang on, I can make it look better. There we go. <laughs> now it's a video game. Now we're playing it on the DS. We'll be ushering you into our new sword fighter play momentarily. Thank you for your patience. You jump with the A button on the right. The jump sound effect sounds a bit crushed as fuck. I mean, yeah, but I kind of like it. Today, we're here to watch the plays, but it's every feat's dream to perform someday, too. Preparations underway. The sparkle in this play is so good, their sparkle is unreal. Sparklers are our top stars. They have that extra pizzazz. They breathe life onto the stage. 
Princess Peach, I got the tickets. Uh, what, what options are there? Okay, vibration, sure. Ah, uh, yeah, and you can change, you can change the controls, so... Wait, what do you mean? Why, why B and not, why not why? Why not why? Oh, uh, whatever. Here's your ticket. Did you notice how crowded it is in here? Must mean the shows are great. Yeah, it's crowded, but it's kind of all the same guy. Sounds like our play will start soon. We should head to our seats. Uh-oh. There's evil afoot. We have an announcement for everyone gathered here today. It's now time for... A performance of terrifying proportions, featuring yours truly, Grape, and the Sour Bunch. Oh no, the sign of my regality! Short, sweet, to the point. I can respect it. Wah! What's wrong? Oh, these peach voice clips. These new peach voice clips. I mean, they're not bad. I'm just not used to them. It sounds a little bit deeper than Peach usually is. Like a bit more like how they usually voice Rosalina. Huh? Y you want to know what's wrong? Well, some strange masked characters are making a complete disaster out of our play. We can't produce the play with them around. I don't know what to do at this point. Oh, she's sassy. So you came to attend some plays, and now you're witnessing this whole- this whole mess, huh? Again, I don't- I don't necessarily mind it. It reminds me of, like, Mario 64, where... She sounded like, Dear Mario. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear it. I have to sort this out, but I don't think I can do it alone. It'd mean a whole lot if you'd help me. What do you say? Mm -hmm. <gasps> really? You'll help? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! My name's Stella. I'm a sparkle sprite who watches over this theater. And you are... Peach? What a great name! With the power of sparkle on our side, we'll take back the play and the show will go on. Oh, what, what is that frame rate Peach is moving? Yeah, there's there's some frame oddities in this game so far. The masked characters I mentioned were in the sword fighter play. Let's get in there. The Castle of Thorns. Okay, loading. Loading. Alright. So this is the sword fighter's story, and sure enough, it still feels off in here. Huh? Oh, oh no! He's dead. Maybe, uh... Maybe I raise it just like a little bit. Raise the volume. Hello, Dark Signer Carly. Bummer Mario missed out on this adventure. Eh, hey, he's got plenty. Someone's been hurt. Oh my. Could the masked ones be responsible for this? I was saying in a Discord group a little while ago that... 
Mario probably just assumed it was Bowser and ran off to kick his butt. He, he went on an entire, like, eight-world adventure for no reason. Ah, huh? oh, I've got it. This is also a much deeper voice than I expected for the little sidekick character. Everybody in this game has been sucking, uh... What's the opposite of helium? Okay, I've got an idea. We should try using the power of sparkle. <laughs> Herlium. <laughs> I like that answer. Ah... A pretty bow. Now you can use sparkle through that ribbon, Peach. You can use hammer. Come on, use sparkle to help this thief. You know that's that's a that's a good sentence. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Ah, slay. Ooh, I feel better. This is just one of the powers of Sparkle. It can help people and things shine and feel bright. Sulfur hexafluoride is the opposite in terms of voice changiness. Oh, so the actual answer. <laughs> With your help, we can fix everything using the power of Sparkle. Let's go! <sighs> Looks like this area has gone back to normal. But we better check on the castle. So, did Princess Peach get recast as well? Because it, it definitely sounds like a, a new person. But it's funny because, like... Like, okay, Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi, th those are all Charles Martinet. But, you know, Martinet didn't play Peach as far as I'm aware. Oh, oh, oh! Samantha Kelly still plays Peach, so, I don't know, just gave her a different direction, I guess. Got that Sonic Frontiers voice direction going on. I'm scared. Die! There they are. Looks like they're still causing trouble. Okay, I don't know what that... I don't know what that did to them, but... But it gives me a coin and they run away, so you know what? Sure. So you just want to interact with everything you can. They got some noive. Press the jump button to jump. Why don't you scream? You're finished! I don't know what that accent was. Yeah, money, 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 money. Hey, money! Oh, oh, there's a spin! There's a spin move. How do you do it? How did I do that? Oh, yeah, I pressed A again. Is there a secret over here? No. Hooray, now we can keep going. This is, ah, it's a sparkle gem. Proof of your fantastic efforts. Yes, a MacGuffin to collect. Mm. Yay. Okay, so there's like a certain number of them per level. Mm. You've got a good view of the castle from here. We're getting closer. Oh no. Evil. The king's in the castle? Yeah, that's where they tend to be. Oh, I can't do anything about this. 
Oh, but I can make him do something about this. I feel invincible. Can you crouch down? Oh, no, but he can. No prop. Here, let me give you some juice. Grind the rail. Grind the rail. Oh my god, you can grind the rail! Yes! I mean, to whatever extent that counts as grinding, but you know. So wait, is this further in the level, or is this further in the level? Hmm. I'm gonna assume that that is forward. And go this way. The flowers used to bloom here. They will bloom once more. After I use my magical abilities. I guess you could call me a, a magical girl, perhaps. Or not. I don't know. Okay, so that's, that was bonus. That was just for a bow. You know, it was a bonus. If only the sword fighter was here. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, when I, when I see her, you know, she can come in here. Can I do, can I spin? No, not really. I mean, I could spin by doing that. But you know, spinning in a different way. Okay, get in there. Oh, it's the dark room. That's the sword fighter sparkle. Peach, I think we can make use of it together. All right, transformation. Oh, that's a cool effect. Breath, Breath of the Wild effect. Oh, she said, on guard. I thought she said, I'm God. And I'm like, well... Well, dang, Peach, it's just a sword. Get, get that out of there. Get that out of there! And it's like... I, I, I don't really know what kind of genre to describe this game as. Like, like it's sort of a beat em up a little bit. Okay, you can taunt. Here I am, kill you. I see. So taunting has a purpose. Yeah, give me the the cre the crystal. Oh, Crash Bandicoot bonus room. And we're like backstage. That's that's funny. <laughs> so you got to taunt to get back out, I guess.
reminds me of those platforms that they would have on stages so the performers could like disappear very suddenly. And at least once somebody has broken their leg on it. I think somebody might have died on one of those. Oh! See, what we need is a song that goes like, Dinner, dinner, mer. Oh, okay. So there's there is like a parry mechanic. Okay, no, nothing to that. How about back here? Nope. Okay, definitely right here, though. Get me out of here! Sure. Into the floor I go. <laughs> the king! What can we do? Oh, there's a heart. I think I get some money if I don't need it. That's as far as you go. Take her down. Honestly, I kind of get like vague Wario World vibes from this for some reason. And that's a compliment because I do like Wario World. I mean, Wario World is probably still better, but, you know. Oh, 2D? Oh. Of course he's gonna make a shockwave, because you know what else- what else is gonna happen? It's basically a cliché. Oh yeah, I saw this part in the trailer. Can I attack that? I don't see how. Oh yeah, money! Money? Yeah, one more, one more. <laughs> I mean, it's a little mindless so far, but we just started. There's the king! The king?! My boy! Duke Onklid is going to eat shit for dinner. Oh, boss, this is my show. You won't get past me. Flower. Uh-oh. Honestly, the, the dodge is a little, uh, Metroid Other M-esque. I don't know if that's a good thing. But we'll see. Yeah, 
Yeah, there you go. Feed me, Seymour. Oh, that could have done damage to me. Oh, no! Crap, my, my no-hit run was almost... almost complete. And there we go. I got all of them things, whatever them is. Let us celebrate by losing half the frames. Thank you very much. As Olimar cheers me on. Is that outdated? Is that an outdated meme? All right, the door is now blue, which as we all know is the color of good. We did it. Together, we're able to use the power of Sparkle. But the theater's not back to normal yet. I wonder if those glowing threads and the symbol in the lobby here are related. Oh my god, it is a Crash Bandicoot hub world. I bet the other plays need our help too. Come on, let's go check on them. It, it literally is like... There's a bunch of levels. And then the boss platform in the center. Okay, now, what's the deal? Let me put on clothes. The theater's really spooky right now. Ah, customer. Could I interest you in some wonderful dresses? I take coins as payment. I have lovely ribbons for you as well, Stella. Please take a look. Oh, we can be polka dot. You got stripes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gradient. No. I want to be, I want to be polka dot. You know, we'll get something for the <laughs> Cut her off. We'll get something for her, too. Ah, uh, yes. Character customization. Custom characterization. What's down here? What's in the basement? Okay, there's like emblems. Who knows what they mean? I'm gonna do the bunny hop. Okay, now what? What other play can I go in? Can I go in here? Oh, yeah. Ninjutsu, the art of rapids. Let's go. Let's do it. A 
Let us doot. Peach time. Yo. Mm. Every classic ninja story begins in a village. Oh, it looks like we won't be going that way. Ah, oh, Goemon. No, let me get the coin. Let me get the coin! Let me get it! Money! This song's pretty good. Oh, I came out of the well. We're stealthing. We're stealthing, I see. I mean, I guess ninjas do stealth things. That tends to be what ninjas are up to. You thought you had me. You thought you saw me. Do I have to cut the grass? Oh no, it's just a rotating wall. Oh, but technically everything except the wall rotated. That's a clever way to hide a secret. I appreciate that. Okay. Pinwheel, give me that coin. Give me that coin. Yeah, give me that coin. Into the ninja waterfall cave. I wonder if some regions were awkward to localize this area for. Uh, maybe. I mean, I know at least back in the day they had some, uh... Some ninja problems in, like, England and stuff. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Hero Turtles. Alright, wall jump. Oh, the music in this area is so good. I can dash. Oh, I can conceal. And then keel. But can I stand on a rock? No, I cannot. Oh, I, I, I didn't think that killed him. Yes, sudden death. Oh, that's not a secret? Oh. You can go up on the roof. And do a little pose. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but you know what, Peach? Sure, good for you. Yes.
Oh, no you don't. Good time for the wall hide technique. Oh, I know what you- I know what you mean. I know what you're talking about. He can't see anything. It is just me, wall with hair. Nothing back here but us black. <laughs> These guys is a little stupid, isn't they? You get a little rumble, that's how you know that there's stuff. Oh, the pot! say this game is is pretty bursting with character at this point like this game's just really goofy and I appreciate it oh wait I missed one do not let your guard down they are after the scrolls Oh, ho, ho, the scrolls are all mine. You must give chase in a minute. Give me a minute, Grandpa. Is this a secret area? Wait, where, where, how am I doing? Yeah, I missed one somewhere back there. Oh, I think I, I, I think it might just be missed. I might have to come back for that. Oh, auto run. Automatic runner. Oh. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, really, Sonic the Hedgehog? Or at least, uh, you know, I thought they were gonna be like those things from City Escape. Ah, Super Mario Brothers 2! Reference every video game ever made! Honestly? While I'm referencing every video game ever made... Uh, this game does have some, like, little Big Planet vibes going on. That sort of, like, everything is fake, pretending it's real thing that it has going on. Uh, 
Ah, cool. Like, like I said, I missed one, though. I wonder how long it would take me to go back and, like, get that. Because I got everything else. Ninja dress. My ninja address. 405 Ninja Street. I'm not a good, a very good ninja. I just doxed myself. Okay, so... Ninja dress. Ah, wardrobe. There we go. Oh, there's also collection plays. Let's see, what's... This is, yeah, your the list of stuff you've done. Alright. Collection, what is that? Ensembles. Oh. Yeah. Peach's favorite formal dress, a chic ensemble that is perfect for, perfect for elegant swordplay. An ensemble that instills in the wearer an attunement to ninja techniques. Yeah. Oh really, that's all it takes? I mean, yeah, why else would they run around in colored undies? Here's the sound test. So I can listen to this anytime I want. Yeah, that song's really good. Movies. Is the Mario movie in here? No, it is not. Yeah, so you got Polka Dot. Oh, the sword fighter. Oh, that. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so. Over here, you can just, like, buy extra stuff. The theme of the Switch is clothes. Like, that's... That's the theme of, like, every game they've released on the Switch is clothes. Mario Odyssey, you can customize Mario's outfit. This game, you can customize Peach's outfit. Uh, you can customize Link's outfit. On Nintendo Switch, there is no excuse to not look fabulous. Or, wait. There's no... Yeah, might as well buy as many of them as I can. I think that's what the, the money's for. Hang on, let me... Let me see how long it takes me... ...to get back to where I need to be. So we know, we know it's before Grandpa. Remember when Odyssey had rolling physics? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. A thing that many Sonic games still struggle with. Even though Frontiers had them, but only on Knuckles for some reason. Oh, wait. But we need to- we need to get some science about how this game works. So we're gonna- we're just gonna speed run through this real quick. Honestly though, I'm- I'm just thankful that, uh, Sonic Superstar's physics were so good. Like, I, I appreciate that they actually <laughs> made sure to get those right this time, for the most part. Even though Knuckles controls a little weirdly in that game, and also, they still have not fixed the spin dash. I need to make that abundantly clear. That in the entire time I was streaming it, and up to now, they have not fixed... They have not fixed the spin dash, uh, not working on higher frame rates. I 
been itching to replay that game, but every time I want to, I'm discouraged by the thought of hearing its music. Well, why don't you just mute the music? You know, you can be married and still eat a lot of meat. So, we are on number three. So once we collect number three, or number four, we know it's after that. Okay, so wherever number four is. Is it the rock? No. Can I can I destroy the rock? <laughs> I just I just noticed the spotlight turns green when she's in here. God, this game is adorable. Okay, so I guess this is the fourth one, right? Oh no, that's just for coins. Oh, we, we, we have the fourth one. So it's, it's somewhere. Oh, did, is this where I missed it? Oh no, wait, there's just, there's just money in here. Where is the crystal? Oh, there it is. Hang on. You probably like go, eh. Or wait, no. Can, can you go, eh? It's not a very powerful, eh. Oh, no, you can do it, you can do it. Okay, now, important science, important science. Do you keep the crystal if you leave the level? This is something we need to figure out right now before we get too far in this game. No, you do not. Okay, so I, ha I have to play the level again. I'm just gonna, okay, I'm gonna speed running through it real quick. Just to get this, and then we'll move on. I, I realized that that was a big waste of time, but I had to know. I had to know! There is not a world in which I played this game and did not know. Each time. I am still recording four audio tracks. I need to stop doing that. But I can't stop midstream. Okay, we're just we're gonna we're gonna do the bare minimum and get that last thing. I mean, technically, I guess you grind money. Hi, how's the peach game so far? It's pretty cool. It's it's cute. Not super difficult, but I mean, I guess I didn't expect for it to be. And also the game just started. So we'll have to see how it gets later on. Okay, I do kind of wish that uh the coins magnetized after you did that. I mean, they sort of magnetize, but not enough. Yeah, so basically, there's three tiers of coins you can get from that guy. But he rises up gradually, so you don't want to wait too long. You don't want to wait too long.
Okay, uh, I kind of don't like that you can't skip this. Kind of- oh, no, wait, you can skip this. I just wasn't pressing the right buttons, I guess. I mean, I'll tell you, good feel knows how to bring the sauce. They know how to get the sauce here. This game is very sauceful. Oh, no, you didn't- you didn't see nothing. Okay. So, now we just gotta book it to the end of the stage. And yeah, it doesn't matter if you're moving, these guys aren't very observant. I could probably get some extra coins by freeing this guy, though. Honestly, that guy looks a little bit like Stimpy. But mostly Olimar. This weirdly reminds me of the movie set level from Spongebob Cosmic Shake. I mean, very similar idea. What genre is this game? Uh, all of them. Endless Runner. Well, no, this does have an end, so it's not an endless runner. Uh, you gotta beat them up, stealth game, just whatever we could- whatever we could throw in there. And yeah, you can just slice right through that guy- oh! Love that they gave her the chic dash attack. If Sakurai has any balls at all, this will be a costume in the next Smash game. I've heard of riding the waves, but this is a little ridiculous. Yeah, that didn't take too long. Not too bad. It's done. I've heard that this game is about roughly seven hours to complete. So that'll probably be about four streams. Assuming I don't go, like, whole hog and, like, get all things possible. I I've heard people say this game might be a bit of a pain to 100%. But we'll see. We will see. Okay. And now we can move on. We can get a move on. Cowgirl in the Wilderness. Peach Redneck Cowgirl. It is what Vinny always dreamed of. Kind of. No, not that Vinny. So is this that Red Dead Redemption everybody was talking about? Pink Alive Redemption? Yeah, destroy the tumbleweed. Huh. 
Come and visit the wild star. This is another thing that uh, Cosmic Shake did. So basically, Nintendo saw Cosmic Shake and they were like, write that down, write that down. Cactus. Oh, you can you can do this. Wow. Yes, we have made this house at least five times more cactusful. Actually, make that four times. I miscounted. Oh, okay, I can't push it. I guess I gotta find somebody else who will push it. Or not. I don't... I don't see nobody. Oh, wait, there's this guy. Yeah, go push. Go push. Go, go, go. Do the manual labor. Push, push, push. Push. Yeah, it's steroids, magical steroids. Push. What are you trying to tell? What are you trying to tell me? But this is not a real horse. All right, then. <laughs> the, the lights have hats on. That's how you know it's the old west. Oh, I like that guy. Wait, hang on. Oh, so that guy's just high right now. Ah! Shoot! Shoot him with your gun! Light it up. So, so, do I make the crate expectation joke now? Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, is there anything in here? Nope. Wait, hang on. All right, now with the power of God, I will become the gunslinger. So we had the Japan level, but now it's time for America. <laughs> oh wait, never mind. I ain't got no gun. I got a rope. 
Who do you think you are, some kind of hero? Well, you can entertain me for a bit at least. So am I am I killing the enemies or am I trying to kill him? Oh, I guess I'm trying to save the duders. We gotta save Captain Olimar. Hmm, I see you got some skill. Don't matter, my loot and I are leaving now. Oh, thank you. They just barely got away. Nay! And I mean like, no! Not like, you know, Horse and A. <laughs> yeah, it's like connected by string. Oh. Oh. Yes, good. Seriously, this lady is relentless. Maybe I'll a few holes in the bridge will show her. Nope. Wait, what was that? Did that horse have like a platypus tail? Hang on. Hang on, before we advance the plot, I have to go into this hole. But it's a secret hole. Okay. <laughs> Ah yes, the hole in which you kill four dudes, and that's- that's about it. <laughs> Who'da thought you'd chase me so far? Well, fine then. Time to settle this once and for all! Oh, you gotta- you gotta get the barrels. Ah yes, comical! Comically large gun that shoots unusual things. K. Rule would be very happy with this man. No! God! Ow! Can I hold the ba- yeah, I can hold the barrel. You don't- you don't have to throw the barrel immediately. Diamonds. <laughs> or whatever, whatever those jewels are. They look, they look tasty. <laughs> well, shucks. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well. If you had told me, if you had gone back to like 2002 and you'd have told kid me one day, you will play a game that... where Peach says, Aw shucks, 
in a southern accent, I would say, who are you? Get out of my house. Honestly, though, Kid Me would have loved the Switch. Like, my, back when I was a kid, my mind was blown by the fact that you could play Mario 64 on the go. Like, that was incredible to me. So, if you'd have shown me Breath of the Wild running on this thing, I, I probably would have peed myself. I would have peed myself and then changed pants and peed those two. Like, I would not have believed it. And yeah, speaking of which, sometime this year, I'm gonna have to stream Mario 64 DS. Because it's the game's 20th anniversary. Which makes me feel incredibly old. But you know, time keeps on marching whether you like it or not, so you might as well play Mario 64 DS. Ooh, Cake Land. No masked villains here. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't speak too soon. But then again, she she doesn't know she's in a video game. I got a golden ticket. Never mind, Charlie. How sweet are ours? <laughs> Super Mario 64 DS was the first way I played Mario 64. That's kind of impressive, honestly. But no, I, I had a Nintendo 64. At, that was the first console I had, like, all my own. I, I had my father's hand-me-down NES, and I still do. But that was the first console I had that was mine. Like, you know, no argument to be made, like, no hand-me-down or anything. That was bought for me, and it was mine. Speaking of which, I don't know if you guys have watched, uh, Panin's newest video. A four-hour dissertation on Mario 64 Invisible Walls. And oh my god, that is so much- it's so much worse <laughs> than I ever imagined. Like, it's a wonder that game functions. Like, it's a wonder you can play that. legs are cold, so I gotta turn this fan off. But yeah, it's a... Basically, for whatever reason, uh... Oh, it's a dance. I'm doing a dance. Uh, they made sure that the... like, collision... geometry was always... like, an integer number, which means that there are often gaps in the collision. Which doesn't seem like a huge deal, until you realize that Mario 64 treats gaps in the collision as invisible walls. And they are like way... They are all over the place in that game. And it's a, it's a miracle we don't hit them more often than we do. But I guess the... Uh, the main reason we don't is often because of tunneling. Which is where, Ma basically, Mario's moving fast enough to where on one quarter step, he's behind it, and then on the next, he's in front. Time to 
Jesse, we have to bake. At least I think that's the official term for that is, is like collision tunneling. But yeah, it... Basically, it just means that Mario misses the collision. He doesn't hit the invisible wall because he just bypasses it. Also, I guess this is a cooking mini game. Make cookies with us. Gotta make tons before time runs out. Place finished cookies on the carts. Let's make a warm-up batch first. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh. Okay, so you want them to be rainbow. Oh, big cookie! Get super diabetes. Oh, I messed it up. Come on, take it, take it. Take my cookie. J Jamie, put the cookie down. Oh, yes, yes. Take it, take it. Oh, no, I hope I got the thing. I hope I did well. Oh, God, my nose. I have created Cookie Mountain. You made so many scrumptious cookies. Thanks to you, we're all set on cookies now. Can we get your help with something else? No. Okay. Hurry right up, keep those cookies moving. The cake bases are all ready, but... Oh, you must be... Hurry, hurry! I think you might have missed it by a hair. Well, we'll find out. Follow the recipes and decorate that cake. Let us know when they're ready to go. And... Begin! What? Oh, okay. Okay, they said I'm stupid. Well, I probably missed that one. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, a star. There you go. Oh, okay. This might be a challenge. Uh, 
Uh, I might have messed it up. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, never mind. Game says it's fine. Oh, you gotta be... You gotta be joshing me with this. Okay, I think I just barely made it. You messed up the first one, but the rest are okay, so you, whatever. Oh, I missed two somewhere. Oh, I missed that one. Yeah, this is a level I'm gonna have to play again. I won't do it right now, though. Put it up on the top. Let the fry cook games begin. <laughs> yeah, that could have that could have gone better. But it could have gone worse as well. You know, you have to look on the positive side. <laughs> Delicosis. Oh, and I. Wait, did I get the- I got the bow? I don't remember getting the bow. I forgot all about the bow. I'm gonna be real with you. All right, time to fight Dingo Dial. Why is the door floating? Can it come down from there, please? Oh, it has a dark aroma. Uh. So those threads were connected to this door. Maybe this is somehow linked to the plays being messed up. Mm. That's strange. My sparkle's getting stronger. Seems like it's responded to this creepy door or something. Uh. Might be able to open it if we boost my power with some sparkle gems. So, chunks, huh? No. No. Okay. I mean, I don't know why they give you the option, because I'm pretty sure if you don't say yes, the game does not progress. But then again, Mario games really like to do this sort of thing. And Zelda. That was pretty loud. The game hasn't been too loud or too quiet or anything, has it? Oh. Oh, disco! Oh, it's the disco bird. Of, of course, I knew it all along. Who be you? How you get through Dark Door? We rewrite stories with Madam Grape. So if you're here to stop us, then I punish you with Madam Grape's power of darkle. 
<laughs> Darkle. Disco wing. Oh, you gotta make it. Oh, I see. I understand. The death egg! Oh. The orb! Oh, I gotta- I gotta tap the A button. I was not told about this. Ah, uh, the cube! Uh-oh. And you have to empower the orb! You gotta replace the stinky with the not stinky. My, my eye itches. Ah. Oh no. Now there are more cubes than ever before. Oh, no, no, don't crush. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is definitely a Robotnik device of some sort. Except in bird form. Ah! Ah, jeez. Yet, yet, unlimited power. And now the bird is dead. You would think maybe we would turn it into a good bird. Because we replaced the bad juice with good juice. But no, bird is dead. I guess sometimes there's just no good bird to free. Sometimes a bad bird's just a bad bird. This floor is back to normal because of you. Thank you so much. We haven't seen any sparklers though. I wonder where they went. I'm worried about them. Maybe they evacuated to one of the other floors. Let's go look. Okay. Oh, what do you gotta say? Yeah. Ever heard of a heart charm? They're all the rage among new actors. If you carry one on you, it'll guarantee you three bonus hearts. So do you want a heart charm? Um, like, is this easy baby mode or is this 
an upgrade I can just get. So there's just like... Is there just like no penalty for using this? Dang it, Nintendo. You could at least say like, oh, if you play it without, you get more coins or something. It's like, is it an upgrade or isn't it? Come on. Come on now. Uh, I guess we'll do this one. Ghostly castle. I don't know, but it's ghostly. Oh, we're already in sword fighter form. This castle belongs to me now. Oh no. Where's Luigi when you need him? All trespassers in my castle shall fall. Literally. Sword fighter. Ah, sword fighter, please, you've got to help us. They're doing silly dances outside of our jail cell. You can't just leave prison. Oh, honestly, I didn't want that. Oh, no, I don't want to... I want to take damage that early. I don't know if it matters. I feel like I remember hearing somebody say that there are, like, no damage challenges. Yeah, I can't skip this for some reason. Some of them you can skip, some of them you cannot skip. And I am not sure why the skipitude does not occur. Having money generally. Ah, yes. You thought you could hide it from me in the pot. And I don't mean the toilet this time. I don't know, somebody could have pooped in that pot. I mean, they did have chamber pots. As much as we do not wish to think about- Uh, see, now, see, I thought this was a puzzle. I thought this was a puzzle, and it would be- And it would be like, you know, oh, don't cut the bottom boxes too fast, because then you, you won't get the top boxes, but no. No, there's no penalty for my impatience. I am vaguely disappointed. Swordfighter, we're scared! Get us out of here! Uh-oh. 
The animated GIF is emerging from the wall! How dare you! Retake the castle. Storm the castle. Oh, this this is this isn't suspicious. You again. Time to send you flying. The game definitely seems geared toward younger audiences. Perhaps. Oh wait, wait. No, I want that. Oh. Oh, 2D. And now I got a new move. I can do this. Did I, did I just miss that? Is that just missed now? Okay. We're doing a bit of Yoshi's Island, are we? Oh. Oh, cool. Just don't get neither of those. Thank you for that. This would be easier if you just sit still. So I'll make you sit still. Oh, this guy looks cool. How do I? Do I have to dodge? Well, I mean, I dodged. Yeah, but I can't attack him after that is the problem. I can't get him. How do I get him? Can I jump him? Yeah, that's what you want to do. You want to jump him. Okay, I have been released from the 2D realm. Oh wait, crap. You gotta jump! Yeah, just mash the button, get a few coin. Oh no! All I know is Luigi's Mansion 4 is gonna be great. No wait, that's next level. This is this is good field. That's next level. You know, I, I was wondering like why the animations were not quite as good as in Luigi's Mansion 3, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's just the wrong developer. Oh, and I didn't get the bow either. I I missed a lot of stuff in this level.
But no, these, this, this is the, the Kirby's epic yarn people. I mean, we still, we still got some time. Thank you, even though we didn't find the sword fighter Sparkla, the place seems to be back to normal. Oh no, the brooch! Now I can be sword fighter all the time! Right? Maybe? No? Probably not? Whoa, that belonged to the sword fighter Sparkla. I've heard Sparkla Spirit is given to actors entrusted with starring roles. This is amazing, Peach. It means you've been recognized as having a sword fighter spirit. Can anyone hear me? Sounds like it's coming from the basement. Let's go check there. Okay. You don't gotta tell me twice. Well, maybe you should anyway. I tend to forget things. Oh, we just- we just go there automatically. I don't- I don't- I don't even have a choice in the matter. How strange. There wasn't anything like this in the basement before. Oh, I bet we can see things we couldn't see before because you've been entrusted with the sword fighter spirit. Sure, why not? Let's go with that. Anyone? Can anyone hear me? Coming from there. All right, let's get in there. Oh, yeah, I don't even have a choice. Crash Bandicoot 4! At 2 FPS? Oh, yes, we are in the Outer Realm. This must be the inverted course. Wait, how did, I, how did I already miss one? Oh, right here. <laughs> you know, I was gonna say this was the Grape Juice Zone, but, uh... The villain actually is just a, named Grape, so it's not actually funny. I mean, not that anything I ever say is funny. Tornado Tunyon said it best many years ago. Ah! Yeah, I gotta show off a little bit. No, wait, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Someone, please.
It's the sword fighter, Sparkla. Don't worry, we're here to help. That outfit. Who are you? And is that Stella? Be careful, this place is... I thought the Sparklas were like the... I thought they were like the the star looking things like Stella is. I, I didn't think that was the... I don't know. N these new races gotta get them in a row. Yup, there's the shockwave. Everybody likes the shockwave. I know I'm supposed to dodge him somehow. Am I, am I supposed to jump? No, I don't think so. I might be... I mean, I'm dodging. Maybe I am supposed to jump. And I just did it but Don't let him trick you with the way he moves. What do you mean? Dodge and strike when he charges. I'm trying. I'm trying to do that. Oh, okay, that counted, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for the save. We've got to escape. Time bomb set. Get out fast. Ah! A surprise attack? What a cowardly move. I'll block his sword, then you attack. I, I, I did not time that right, but the game gave it to me anyway. Yeah, QTE. Like that. Thank you very much. 70 coin. I got a Stella ribbon. Oh, okay. Now we go back into the vortex. Okay, so what was all that about? Who'd have thought they'd imprison the sparklers on their own stages? I'm certain this means we can save the rest of the sparklers by restoring their plays. Thank you both for saving me. They robbed me of my powers and trapped me, those fiends. How's the game so far? It's pretty good. Now I will resume my role of protecting others. Allow me to express my gratitude once more. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I thought the sparkle was like the thing that, that Stella is, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Sparkla is a title that is bestowed.
Okay, so I probably have time for one more level. And then I'll probably call it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You got new? You have new? Oh, he ha he has new. Yes. Yay. Nice. Uh, no, I don't want to wear this right now. I want to wear the the disco one. Blue ribbon. Isn't that that thing they put on like cat food? Okay. Now I'm finally going to play Persona 5. <clears throat> well, eventually I'll play Persona 5 once it gets done loading. Whoa, look at all the weird posters. I wonder what all that's about. Let's look around. The sour thieves are the worst. Sorry, but this area is closed off right now. Mask the dask the dasking thief. Yes. Oh no, Metal Sonic's here. Yes, with the power of positive thinking. Is it just me or Samantha Kelly's uh, performance as Peach in this game a little too mellow? Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. She's she's kind of playing it a little deeper, doing the uh, Sonic Frontiers <laughs> voice direction. Oh, I see that. I see that. Oh no, it's a robot. It's a robot. No, don't lie to me. I can jump around that. Oh. I gotta do it multiple times. Ah, uh, yes. With, with the power of Sparkle, I have created an EMP. Follow me, will you? Well, hang, hang on, there's- there's stuff. There's stuff and maybe things. No, no, wait. Get back here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, give me the boat. Give me the boat. Give me the boat. I must be the prettiest girl at the party. Just just had a little too much <laughs> had a little too much coffee. 
We welcome you to our secret society. We are secret agents who protect the city. Say, you think you can activate the devices? Oh, so like, something I'm, I'm realizing here is that each of the plays, it, it seems like each of the plays is like an ongoing story arc that's continued between levels. Which is, which is kind of neat. God, Peach leaked my IP. Leave it to me. Oh. Uh. You need to infiltrate their building. We'll be supporting you along the way. You ever notice that it's like... It's like I'm a thief, but I have to steal from the bad guys. We can't have any moral ambiguity. <laughs> Lupin. How do I grab this? Oh, like that. Oh, but Peach... Peach wouldn't steal from the good guys because she's a good guy. Oh. Ow. Oh, uh, 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 okay. How do, how do I go down? Oh, you go down like that. Oh. Was there anything up there that I wanted? I mean, some coins. Though, I mean, I guess in the, the play's narrative, the Sour Gang insists on being the bad people. It's kind of their thing, they, they, they typecast themselves that way. We're, we're floopin', we're floopin'. Oh wait, was there- there might have been something back there. Can I go back? I probably can't go back. Nope, can't go back. I don't know. I hope there was nothing back there. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Well, this level's definitely a bit more involved than the others. Like this is just a sh this is just a 2D platformer straight up. Like I said, it really is like, you know, just put every genre of video game in here. Okay. So if you're, you know, if you're like a six-year-old girl who doesn't play video games, here, you can, you can have a little sampler. This is what we make at Nintendo. This is every possible video game. made that noise just now. Just kind of felt like the thing to do.
Oh, that just- that just turned the light on. Good thing I am professional hacker man. Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. Wait, no, what's up there? How do I get up there? Oh, I guess you, like, you go here and then you do this? Okay. Okie doke. Strike a pose, uh, turn the light on, carry me home. Oh, I see that. Don't... Oh, I think you're supposed to see that. That's not a secret, that's just the plain old thing you gotta do. Well, I mean, my cover's blown at this point. Huzzah! They'll never get me in here. Alright, open the big safe! Open the big safe! The little safe will never do. Oh hey, that's- that's the one that Putin opened. The oldest vault. Oh, oh, we got the advancing electro floor. That's no good. Nobody likes the advancing electro floor. Well, except maybe the company that makes Ow. The company that makes the floor. Oh, wait, wait. I, again, I missed one. I don't know where I missed one. No, I'm out of here. Oh yes, the paraglider. I knew I had that. Welcome to Takeshi's Challenge. Yeah, this is really just the stream of Reference every video game ever made, that is the commentary. Yes. Piece of cake. Thank you. I missed one! Ah yes. I'm a thief that all the cops love. No moral ambiguity. Uh, so detective, uh, Ice skater. Is there anything cool over here? No. I don't know. I, I I would put something in there. Is there something over here? No. I I wouldn't put something here, but you know they could have. Anyway, <laughs> that'll probably be it for right now. That's pretty fun. Not too shabby. Uh... 
I, I don't know what else to say. Goodbye.